For the longest time, we've had to drag and drop attachments into Apple Notes. There is nothing wrong with that, but sometimes attaching files from within the app is more convenient. Fantastic one. Hello, it's Ropsy, and today we'll be diving into the updates we have in iPadOS 18 for Apple Notes. Apple has replaced the camera icon we had in the app with an attachment icon, which means now we can add items to our notes without opening another app first. It's a welcome update. We had no trouble adding our photos to the handwriting sections in our notebooks, so you shouldn't have a problem attaching your images if you want to mix them with handwriting. The pop-up menu option only takes you to the Files app though. It doesn't give you all the options that you get with the attachment icon on the top toolbar. And we feel this could just be a beta limitation. The biggest updates coming to Apple Notes are not available on all iPad models. That is as good as not updating at all, especially when you consider the devices that they are supporting. They're only supporting the M series iPad Pros, starting from the fifth generation for the bigger version, and third for the small one. iPad Air is starting from the fourth generation, which is the iPad Air 2020. And that seems to have outlived the iPad Pro 2020. Isn't that strange considering that the iPad Pro costs way more? even though it was released seven months earlier. These two iPads are only seven months apart. Why would Apple give it an inferior chip to that of an iPad Air? iPad Pros are no longer worth buying at all. It also supports the 10th generation iPad and only the 6th generation iPad mini. SmartScript also has limited language support. It only supports nine versions of English, four versions of French, three of German, two of Italian, two Portuguese, and three Spanish. The feature only supports six languages at the moment, and hopefully they'll be rolling out all the other languages in the future. Smart Script recreates your handwriting to make it smoother, straighter, and more legible. Initially, I thought I would find this distracting, but it's very subtle. You won't notice it if you're not paying attention. So, would say that is some good execution on Apple's part. We also love that you can choose to turn it off if you don't want to use the feature, which is always a good thing. And Apple maintains an impressive consistency. It won't look like two different people wrote the notes, but that's not to say there aren't any deviations. We have had situations where the conversions look nothing like your handwriting, but we're also getting some pretty impressive handwriting resemblance. And if this is only developer beta one, it's actually quite impressive. The app is smart enough to refine your handwriting without completely changing it. And it also works on notes that you already have in the app. I didn't think that I would like this feature, but surprisingly, I do. Let us know if this is a feature you'll be using often. Spell check is not always accurate. Sometimes it completely misunderstands what you're trying to write, and in those cases, it can be quite frustrating without an option to add new words to a custom dictionary, or even to give you an option to ignore suggestions. Even easier, perhaps, would be to get a couple of words instead of just one suggestion for each correction. Sometimes there are multiple possibilities that the app simply misses. Otherwise, when the app does pick up errors and makes the correct suggestion, the feature will probably mess up your notes. And depending on how bad it is, there's something straightening config. Its handwriting also doesn't always match your handwriting. And it feels like someone else wrote the word for you and someone else is correcting your mistakes. When you think about it, it might actually be useful for those words to stand out if that's what you're going for. But in most cases, it's probably not. 
Is spell check a feature you want in a handwriting note taking app? Do tell. We were excited to see that we can now add space between words in our sentences. At least now we can add the exact amount of space we need for additional information in our notes. We were hoping this would work for words too, where you can create space between letters of individual words, but perhaps that is too much to ask for. Apple Notes has refined its most loved feature and we couldn't be happier. It is still a bit difficult to bring up though. And in our many efforts to bring it up, we accidentally activated a color changing gesture several times, which we're still trying to figure out how we've been doing that. Let us know if you already know. Pasting text to handwriting, paste it in black ink only at the moment, regardless of what pen tool color you're using. The handwriting doesn't resemble yours, but we don't have high expectations for that because we have seen the feature at play in GoodNotes, but it's nothing to get excited about yet. We were hoping to refine the handwriting once we've pasted it, but the app is not giving us that option. You can, however, erase it with your eraser tool and select it for interaction. But attempting to straighten it, messed it up instead. So we try it again. And it took a while and still gave us the same results. We managed to create some space though. The conversion itself was quite accurate with a few errors that spell check failed to pick up, so I guess we're still waiting for a lot more interaction with the handwriting that we paste in the app. As we expected, scribble to erase is the worst feature so far. Sure, there's a still a beta, but it's the only feature we haven't had any luck using at all. And it's not even that complicated. But the feature has a history of dysfunctionality. In every app that has this feature, it's always a hit and miss and we really want to see if Apple can change that. We'll definitely be watching that space. For the first time in a note-taking app, we have a feature that combines font color and highlighting. It's definitely better than the plain text we've had in Apple Notes on our iPad all along, but how hard could it be to only highlight text without changing its color? We can change the font color on the Mac version of the app. Why is it so difficult to bring that to the iPad version? It's nice to see some color in our notes though, and we love the five colors we have too, even though we have no option to customize them. So we're just appreciating the little we have at this point. Collapsible notes are awesome. The app automatically creates them with your headings and subheadings. So are they all collapsible now? You can choose to collapse or show your notes depending on what you're going for, but we were hoping that the feature would work a little bit like quotations where you can choose to add it to your notes. But maybe automating the process is probably more efficient for a digital workflow. What do you guys think? Now we understand why they mentioned audio recording in passing. It's not really audio recording, it's more like recording audio using voice memos as a feature in Apple Notes away from your notes. We want to say that it's a step in the right direction, but in 2024, audio recording away from your notes is simply unacceptable. The audio recording feature has been around for way too long for Apple Notes to mess this up. You can name your recording and then add it to your notes. We can see the audio transcript in the notebook, but we don't have a way to interact with it, so hopefully that's coming soon. Or are we experiencing a bug? Transcription is currently limited to multiple versions of the English language. The audio playback is simple, with 15 second fast forward and rewind options. 
We don't like that it's away from your notes, obviously. When you reach the end of the audio, you can record more audio. It's probably just easier to create a new audio from scratch. There was a time when the audio playback tool appeared above the keyboard when typing notes. It was a brilliant setup, we thought, but now it's just disappeared and we can't bring it up again. But for this recording, we were not able to replicate that. These updates are the most interesting we have received for Apple Notes in what feels like years. Apple really put a lot of effort into it, but we a bit said that the biggest updates are limited to just a few iPads, especially because they have also excluded two perfectly functional iPad Pros, the 2018 and 2019 models. Which updates are you mostly excited about? Do tell. We hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you. Fantastic human for watching. See you in the next video.